so welcome back students we've already started with the concept of inductive effect i've taught you what is inductive effect i've also taught you how to apply or how what sort of questions you'll be getting for uh, using inductive effect like for different acids like to find uh, the acidity between acidic strength between water phenol methyl alcohol to find the acidic strength of benzene and you know toluene like that so now let us see how can i apply inductive effect to find strength of the base Let's see it. So let us see. So first of all, whenever uh, you're given a base, what is the first important thing which has to come to your mind? What actually is a base? Base is something which accepts proton, right? This accepts proton. Correct. This is the first important thing. Next, what is the next important thing you have to remember? If it is, if you're not speaking in terms of proton, you can also write it as electron pair donor. Elect base is an electron pair donor okay right remember this concept fine so after this based on this uh, concept let us do certain examples which will be given in the exam suppose if they ask you to arrange the following of certain examples based on their uh, this in basicity how should you do suppose if i take an example like this they've given me c6h5 and h2 okay and they've given me C6H5 taken twice. Now I've taken this hydrogen replaced by NH. Okay. Then I have picked up ammonia. They've given me ammonia and they have given me CH3NH2. Now I'm supposed to arrange these according to the increasing order or decreasing order of the basicity. Let us write decreasing order of the basicity. So now when they give this order, the first important thing I need to remember this concept. What is the concept? Base is something which accepts proton or donates electrons, electron pair correct now i'm going to, i have to apply the inductive effect to this isn't it right what do we have we have two types of effects one is plus i effect and minus i effect isn't it so what is plus i effect plus i effect are electron releasing groups and minus i effect are electron withdrawing group that is what we have studied yes so when i have to speak about amines here aniline this is aniline this is also almost aniline this is methylamine so when I have to speak in terms of aniline, methylamine or all the ammonia group, the first important thing, methylamine is this particular thing, methylamine is electron, if I have to speak in terms of uh, plus A effect, electron releasing group, isn't it? So let us say this is electron releasing group or what type of effect does it show? It's going to show as plus I effect correct releasing group now when it comes to uh, your uh, this one aniline or diphenylamine when i have to say this one this is electron don uh, withdrawing group ewg group that means which effect is this minus i effect this also is the same electron withdrawing group or minus i effect correct yes right now you can easily write now what did I say when it is electron releasing that means electron pair donor when it is electron pair donor isn't it strong uh, isn't it a, 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 like a high, it has higher basicity compared to this compared to this so this is your concept now so electron releasing group plus i effect that means electron pair donor that means it is highly basic now let us arrange the order now let us rename this as a b c and d so the highest basicity would be d would be greater correct yes then uh, when i have to take further now after uh, d what is the next important thing which comes ammonia c would be greater than next would be one benzyl one uh, aromatic ring a which is greater than b b would be least basic because it is withdrawing group it goes on withdraws the electrons it will not allow to release if it is not releasing it is not a base so this is the order so remember once again higher the electron releasing groups present more is the basicity let us write that also higher electron releasing groups are present higher the electron releasing group more is the basicity that's it you need to remember this concept when you remember this concept it is easy for you to uh, answer the order ordering of that right now let us uh, learn one more concept fine so now uh, after this concept let us uh, see same uh, thing i'm applying for uh, relative stability of carbocations now here in this case uh, when i have to speak the relative stability of carbocations remember yes we have what type of carbocations we have we have uh, basically tertiary carbocation secondary carbocation primary carbocation and as well as methyl now i have to relate the inductive effect to this 
so once again come back so inductive effect again i said electron releasing group yes so remember electron releasing groups are present means what type of effect is it showing electron releasing group means plus i effect correct so when plus i effect is more what will happen the basicity also increases okay i'm applying the same concept here the basic strength also increases i'm applying the same concept to this so in the carbocation what what do we have we have tertiary carbocation secondary carbocation primary carbocation and methyl carbocation all these cations we have now as i said let us write this tertiary carbocation now i said <laughs> tertiary how do you write ch3 taken thrice c plus this is tertiary carbocation what is secondary carbocation ch3 taken twice ch and plus what is primary carbocation it is ch3 ch2 plus now methyl cation is ch3 plus correct yes now see all our electron releasing groups same concept all will show plus i effect yes all will show plus i effect means everything all are base they have basic strength now which will show maximum let us name this as a name this as b let us name this as c let us name this as d now when i have to take a the three alkyl groups means there are lot of electron releasing groups three electron releasing groups means the plus i effect will be more when electron pair donor base nothing base is nothing but electron pair donor so there are three groups which are donating hence this is the highly basic carbocation a next comes b next comes c next comes d this is your option so i am again saying more of the electron releasing groups more is the basicity remember that yes so let us come back and do one more concept now how am i applying or uh, uh, how am i seeing this uh, concept for like uh, inductive effect and state of hybridization how will i apply this concept of inductive effect to the state of hybridization also you should remember so let us do that also so i'll be doing different different concepts let us see so i am applying inductive effect to uh, state of hybridization this way just see so inductive effect uh, like basically how many types we have sp hybridization sp2 and sp3 you have further sp3 d2 uh, d2 sp3 like that uh, you have different combinations but now i'm going to speak in terms of sp hybridization sp2 and sp3 remember yes now uh, first important thing i am going to write for basicity and acidity also stating this so this is the order for acidity this is the order for basicity yes so now when i have to write the order of acidity relative acidity of hydrocarbons i'm picking up first comes sp hybridization this is more acidic then comes sp2 hybridization which is seen in alkenes then comes sp hybridization which is seen in sp3 hybridization sorry which is seen in alkenes alkynes with sp hybridization are more acidic than alkenes which is sp2 hybridization which are more acidic than alkenes which is sp3 hybridization right fine so uh, like when i have to speak in terms of the basis of the corresponding carbanions so i am talking in terms of uh, base basicity with the corresponding carbanions i am going to pick up carbanions of the respective ones now it is a reverse order isn't it for basicity in the reverse order so if i have to write this basicity order ch3 now i am writing the carbanion of this this is the carbanion for alkene which will be greater than now i have to write the carbanion for alkene that is now i have to write the carbanion for alkenes right so what is this hybridization this is again the same thing like we have picked up the carbanion so this is the order so remember that so whenever they ask you for the acidity the basicity order based on the hybridization this is the concept which you should remember right so now next uh, uh like this is the same concept if i have to uh, like uh, basicity of corresponding carbanions also okay i did the same thing so one more concept which they am going to ask you suppose the same thing i am just writing 
if they ask you ka among uh, acrylic acid and your propionic acid okay let us write i'm comparing the same thing this two are topics of the same now if they ask you among acrylic acid okay what is acrylic acid we will see acrylic acid and propionic acid propionic acid right they'll ask you which is more uh, uh, like uh, acidic or which will be more uh, highly acidic in nature based on the hybridization first you will know right i am going to compare with this what is acrylic acid acrylic acid is ch2 double bond ch coh this is acrylic acid a propionic acid is ch3 ch2 coh this is your propionic acid correct now i need to explain in terms of as hybridization now uh, when i have to speak about the uh, this in uh, um, uh, propion and this is acrylic acid what do you have first of all let us compare here you have electron releasing group correct yes here also you have electron releasing group but how will you decide first of all when i have to speak about the acidic strength of acrylic acid it is higher than that of propionic acid what is the difference because of electron withdrawing inductive effect of this is sp2 hybridization isn't it this is where is sp2 alkene means sp2 so what you did remember here you have electron withdrawing nature of the inductive effect of the electron withdrawing nature and this also has sp2 hybridization right so sp2 hybridized carbon atom because of this alpha and beta this is alpha and the beta bond though their resonance effect the alpha beta unsaturated uh, system will decrease the strength correct yes so once again this particular thing as sp2 hybridization we very well know compared to sp3 this is sp2 because of this acrylic acid is a stronger acid than propionic acid though it is stabilized yes though it is though it shows resonance effect but uh, but due to resonance effect tends to decrease acidic strength that is one more concept but here if i come back to the hybridization i'll clearly say that this is more acidic acrylic acid is more acidic than propionic acid right so that is a concept right so now let us come back and see one more topic electromeric effect 